But all of our teachers will say, oh my gosh, like how we, how we view social, emotional, ethical, cognitive development now versus how we did many, many years ago, it's transformational. Yes. So now we're on the right path because I see a change in affect. I see a change in behaviors. I see a change in happiness. Like our teachers don't get so bogged down. Yeah, we still have kids throwing chairs. We still have kids running out of the room. We still have days where we can't get to everything we need to get to. But guess what? We're not losing sleep over it because we're backing up to those life skills. So when you say it's not working, I'm going to go back and say, we need to adjust our perspective for many, many reasons. Right. Number one, let's go back to the hopes and dreams. And I really thought about this, Vanessa. Parents will tell me, I want my child to be happy and well-adjusted. Mm -hmm. Well, I would never go to the end of the year and say, oh, we failed. Your child is not happy and well-adjusted. Why? Because happy and well-adjusted is a lifelong process. You see, the hopes and dreams and goals that parents have for their kids and you and I have for our kids are much bigger picture things. I want kids, and Vanessa, if you looked at me and said, okay, Dan, you've got my, my four-year-old. I want him to be a good person. I would never look at you at the end of the year and say, oh, well, I'm sorry, Vanessa, he's not a good person. I mean, would I ever say that to you? No. Why? Because we really view our goals, even though we have short-term goals of benchmarks and, and, you know, not biting friends, our bigger picture is you want your child to be a good person. And so I think when we adjust it, we cut ourselves some slack. But if our goal is behavior, we automatically set ourselves up for failure because it's like, well, he's not behaving. And so the first thing I think we have to do is say, we have to shift our perspective. Is he on the road to becoming a better person? It's about a process. So we don't want to focus on behavior. We want to focus on lifelong goals. And if we do that, we cut ourselves some slack.